Well, let's just get this out of the way. This video has the potential to be sort of terrible. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching the Angling Anarchy. And uh, yeah, that's probably not the best way to start out a video, but uh, I think you'll see what I mean uh, once we get into this. We're gonna be looking back at some old footage. I know I've done some videos like this, but this is even older than the stuff I've done before. This is from Eagle Lake in June of 2014. So this was the first time I filmed with the pole setup that I have, and if you wanna see what that looks like, I'll uh, link those videos, how I have cameras set up on my boat, so you can take a look at that. But this was the absolute infancy of me trying to film my musky fishing adventures. I didn't have that many cameras. I think I had three in total. They were all GoPro Hero 3 Blacks. I had two of them up on the post, one shooting towards the bow and one shooting towards the stern. And then I had one camera that I could put on the gunnel. So one of the problems I run into when I want to try to do something with this footage is I only have just a couple of angles. I'm so used to having, you know, the two cameras on the pole, two on the gunnel, a chest cam, a handheld cam. So it makes it a lot harder to edit when you can't go back and forth. Um, the video seems real static. Being able to cut back and forth between cameras makes it a little bit more dynamic. So I'm going to do the best I can with this footage and we're just going to play around with it. And it's still musky fishing and it's Eagle Lake and it's musky. So it's still fun to watch. For those of you that just want to start out filming, the best advice I can give you is to commit to it. And I learned a hard lesson on this trip because we got out on the water and the first thing I did was look at the cameras and think, I just want to start fishing. I don't want to mess with the cameras. And I missed the opportunity to get a 42 and a half uh, muskie that Jim caught and a 45 and a half inch fish that I caught. Completely missed that opportunity to get it on film because I was just, I was too worried about fishing and not worried about setting the camera, you know, taking the five or 10 minutes to set the cameras up. I've gotten into the habit of as soon as I get to the launch, that's part of my routine when I get the boat set up is to set your cameras up, take care of it, then it's done. There are ways to make filming easier. I've made videos on how to do that in a fishing situation. So I will also link those videos below so you can watch those. Once you get a routine down, it's a couple few minutes and it makes life so much easier when you want to film. So this first clip is actually of a, of a near capture of a muskie. I just barely miss it with the net. My buddy Dave hooks a fish, gets it right next to the boat. The bait pops out, goes flying. I lunge as far as I can to try to get the fish and just narrowly miss it. I saw the hole, whack, and I thought, Jesus, that, that can't be a Oh, like six inches and a half. I got a nice bit of camera of it, though. In the second clip, Dave finally hooks into a fish. He sees it coming in a figure eight. Doesn't do the best figure eight in the world, but it, it works. The fish hits, we get it. I mean, he really sets the hook hard and, and I think pulls the fish out of the water. So I kind of tell him to keep it in the water, you know, keep the head down, that sort of thing. Uh, Dave was new to musky fishing, so I was trying to coach him as much as, I, as best I could. And we get the fish in the net. And I think this was the first musky of that trip. So we were quite happy with that.
The third clip I get a nice fish to go into the figure eight, it goes around a couple times, I hook it and just keeping the fish going the direction of uh, how it was hooked comes around to the other side of the boat so we don't get a real cool shot of it get into the net which is another reason to have some multiple camera setups typically I would have a chest cam on nowadays and I would even if it's on the wrong side of the boat where most of the cameras aren't uh, pointed you'd be able to see that but this is what we're stuck with And of course the lovely photo uh, with the finger in the corner of my 40 inch musky. So there wasn't a whole lot that went right uh, as far as photography and filming goes, but uh, this was a learning process. And anybody that has filmed or has tried to film knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I encourage everyone to have a GoPro in the boat because if nothing else, you can use that footage to watch, watch your figure eights. Use it like game film, like a, a NFL coach would use game film to watch what the other team is doing. Use this video to watch what you're doing and maybe improve your figure eight. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe you'll notice something that you can use to improve your musky fishing experience. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching some muskies from Eagle Lake in Ontario. I know I can't wait to get back up there and get some fresh new content uh, from north of the border. We just have to wait on that border opening up. But it's fun going back and looking at this old footage again if anybody ever has any questions about how to run cameras i've got multiple videos on how to do that you can always shoot me a question on the angling anarchy facebook page if you have questions about filming i will try to answer them and help anybody out that i can all right we're going to wrap this one up uh hope you enjoyed watching some of the old footage i have lots of it laying around so in times like these when i can't get fresh content we've got stuff to fall back on and watch and again hope you enjoy it thank you everyone for watching uh, i really do appreciate it and i will see you on the next video